On today's episode, we begin to do work on the fuel system and continue to work on the engine and a whole whack of other fun stuff. As you've probably guessed, the Porsche's fuel system, the stock one right now, isn't gonna be quite able to support the kind of horsepower that I'm gonna be making and the EFI setup. So once again, I've turned to Vibrant for all my fitting and hose needs. So this is flexible race hose and we have a whole assortment of Dash 6 AN fittings. And look, thank you guys over at Vibrant. We finally have some wrenches. So we're not gonna be scratching these fittings up. And moving on to our fuel pressure regulator. Here is the TurboSmart FPR 1200, which as it says, supports up to 1200 horsepower. I'm not gonna be hitting that much juice, but it's never a bad idea to be able to support more. Finally, for our fuel pumps, we're gonna be running these AM inline 380 LPH pumps. There's actually two of them. Porsche, the, the stock Porsche system has two, so we're gonna be replacing them, their stock pumps with these two bad boys, which are kind of an 044 Bosch style pump. And the nice thing about them is they're much cheaper, which is always good for me, and just as much quality in my books. And finally, Last but not least, we've got this 7 micron AM fuel filter. And I know what you're thinking, this thing's kind of long and crazy, but the more filtering we get, the better. So that kind of, in a nutshell, is the fuel system. And we're gonna get to installing it all in a second and show you how it goes together. So first things first, before we get started on our fuel system upgrade here, we gotta drain the gas tank, and the Porsche actually has a very easy way to do it. There's a massive screw or bolt, whatever you wanna call it, with a filter on it. This guy here that you just remove out of there, and presto, your tank is drained before you know it. With the fuel tank drained, now it's time to remove the forward most pump here. This is what we'll be replacing with the AM 380 liter inline pump. As you can see, things are a bit crusty here, but I should be able to remove this bracket and then slide this fuel pump out. all the fuel out of there there you go this little guy's done it served its purpose for about <laughs> 25 plus years but now it's time to get something in there with us some more flow out back here we've got the rear pump tucked away right underneath one of the suspension bits I've managed to pull it out here I'm gonna crack the fittings positive negative terminals take those electrical connections off and we can remove this bad boy and again we'll be replacing it with one of the AAM fuel pumps. Now the old pump comes out and we are done with these guys. I've already gone ahead and installed our AAM inline fuel pump. So that bad boy is in there. And now what we're left with is to run a little feed line from the tank to our adapter fittings here and put on our feed line to the back that I just put together. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. In order to build our fuel system, I'm gonna to have to run some Dash 6 hose from the feed line of the AM inline pump all the way to the back, as I've been instructed by Mike. So I'm gonna start off by putting this hose into an actual 180 fitting, which is this guy right here from Vibrant. So what we're gonna be doing is, I've got the cool tools set up right now, which Ken also has, let's see. This is actually a really valuable tool. And I'm gonna lube it up, start with that, and get to it. 
if you recall, this process is the simplistic part. And thankfully, Vibrant's hose ends are actually really well built which makes this kind of a breeze in my books. I think we're there. Yes, we are. So the old cool tool comes apart and look at that. And now what I'm gonna do is take our fitting here, add a little bit more oil, of course. Thread this in. And there we have it. Let's hold that here for a second. Let me show you the first fitting. It is ready to go. So let's get this mounted up and I'll show you that next. What I'm trying to achieve here is to keep it away from the, the line from the steering rack or any moving parts on it. It's kind of a biatch to freaking get your hand up here, but once I do, we'll get that run and we'll be good to go. Now that we've measured off our feed line up to the second AM pump, I'm gonna go ahead and install this guy right up into here. Fits like butter, of course. And then I now need to run another feed line up to where we're gonna put our fuel filter. So that's my next plan of attack here. So I was scratching my head for a bit, trying to figure out where to mount the elongated AM fuel filter. And of course, the fabricator, Mr. John over here at TurboCraft, built this sweet bracket for me, which attaches to the chassis, and now is gonna house the filter perfectly. It's not gonna be touching anything, there's gonna be no interference, and it's gonna make it super easy to service when I need to get at it. Our fuel filter is mounted up on a sweet bracket and it's ready to be plumbed to the engine. So that about wraps it up for our fuel system install for the time being. We've got another line left that needs to run to the engine, but we'll get to that later. All the parts are back from the powder coater and everything does look great. It was all done in black, however, there's a couple pieces that were supposed to be done in silver, like the fan shroud, the housing, and a couple other aluminum pieces. But with a little bit of miscommunication, it was all done in black. So now this engine's gonna get the murdered out treatment, all black, everything. So here's our piston and cylinder set. It is a Molly Motorsports 3.4 liter capacity kit. And Chris, tell me what you think about these, because I'm a believer, but are you? Yeah, these are really good pistons and cylinders. Uh, Molly's got the engineering absolutely figured out because they're the OEM supplier. So Exactly, that's kind of why I yeah. went with them. Their piston and their cylinder are expanding at the same rate, so you've got really good, super tight piston to wall clearances, and we're talking below 3,000. These are really tight running, so they run quiet, they make good power, they've got you know, rings of the exact alloys that work well with the Nicosil plating, and um, they've, they've got that all engineered for you. So when you want a setup that you can literally just bolt in and not have to think about, you don't have to worry about, you know, ring strategy or what alloy rings you're gonna use or coatings on pistons and expansion ratios. Yeah. You just bolt this in and go and it works. Excellent, well, we will soon show you how all of these are put together and end up working in unison.